Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so on your screen right now, you will see the top 25. Of course, it's updated for the top 25 heavyweights that you and I have been collating over the last few months. And there's like a lot of talk about the heavyweights are stagnant. They're not fighting each other. They're not fighting enough. So I thought, you know what, let's just go through some of the names and we'll try and find the culprits, okay, as to who's fighting and who isn't, okay? And I've done it over a 12 month period. So let's pull out, say, number three, Anthony Joshua. Well, he will have fought three times within a 12 month period when he fights Dylan White, three times. So that's not bad, that's pretty good. Daniel Dubois, who is number 13 on this list. Personally, I think it should be a little bit higher, but hey, it is what it is. Either way, he would have fought three times within a 12-month period when he takes on Alexander Usyk. So again, pretty good. Let's look at, say, number 11, Joseph Parker. He would have also fought three times within a 12-month period. Let's look at number 8, Arsenbeck Makhmadov. He would have also fought three times. So, so far, three times within a 12-month period for a top-rated heavyweight is pretty good, Okay. Um, let's look at, say, number one, Alexander Usyk. Well, within a 12-month period, when he takes on Daniel Dubois, he would have fought twice. That's not great. That's not great. Now, granted, he did do everything he could to fight Tyson Fury. It's not his fault Tyson Fury wasted his time. Okay? It is what it is, but officially it's two. Let's look at, say, number six, Dillian White. Also, only twice in the last 12 months. I feel he could have squeezed another fight in there. He could have done Let's look at, say, number 10, Joe Joyce. When he rematches Zili Zhang, he would have fought four times within a 12-month period. Kudos to Joe Joyce. Kudos. Four times. And nobody can say he don't fight. Four times within a 12-month period for a top-rated fighter is pretty good. So well done to him. Let's look at, say, number 15, Frank Sanchez. He would have fought twice. Again, that's not ideal, is it? Twice. Um, let's look at number nine, Filip Perkovic. Well, when he takes on Dempsey McKean, he would have also fought twice within a 12-month period. That's not good enough either, is it? It's not. You know, he could have squeezed another one in there. He could have done. Let's look at, say, number 12, Jared Anderson. Four times within a 12-month period. He's already fought. Kudos to Jared Anderson. Kudos. Okay, it's a little bit different. Obviously, he's not taking on the best of the best. He's still a prospect coming through, if you like. Now, he's more of a contender than a prospect. But four times, that's pretty good. Let's look at, say, number five, Jonte Wilder. Once. It's Robert Hanius. Now, does he have a fight coming up? Can he get the Andrews Jr. fight over the line? Remains to be seen. But currently, one fight. Holding up the heavyweight division much. Let's look at, say, the Gypsy King, number two. Well, within a 12-month period, also only once. Again, he could have fought twice, but he decided to waste every, everybody's time on Alexander Usyk's team around. He, he, he decided to mess everyone about. So, so far, he fought once. Will he get squeeze another one in there before 12 months is up? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But either way, holding up the heavyweight division. Let's look at, say, number 19, Martin Bacoli. Within a 12-month period, once. And that was that Hulk in, that, in, in Poland. Once. For a guy like Martin Bacoli. Shoddy. Absolutely disgusting. Let's look at, say, number 18, Michael Hunter. He hasn't fought at all. In 12 months, he hasn't fought at all. Disgusting. What reasons are there behind it? I'm led to believe there are no reasons. Not within the last 12 months there hasn't been. So what's his reason, what's his excuse for not fighting at all? But now, you know, some people may say, well, Huey Fury, number 14, he hasn't fought either. Well, again, he's been out of, for, what, 18 months or something like that due to illness. Listen, he can't help illness, okay? But we can see who the culprits are at the top end. We can see it's... Tyson Fury, it's Deontay Wilder, it's Martin Bacoli, 
and it's Michael Hunter. At the top end, they ain't fighting. Oh, Andy Ruiz Jr. as well. For once in the last 12 months. Disgusting. So we can see who the culprits are. It's not the heavyweight division is stagnant. It's certain fighters that are stagnant. So Andy Ruiz Jr., Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Martin Bacoli, Michael Hunter. Pull your socks up, lads. Pull your socks up. Drop your thoughts below. Click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.